Hey guys, I've wanted to do a video tutorial on this for a while, and with peaking interest in the community, I decided it's time to pull the trigger. So we're going to cover how to store targets as waypoints using the Nadir paired with the Vivian camera system, and then we're going to hop in the KA-50 and cover how you might communicate from a Gazelle pilot those coordinates to a KA-50 pilot so that a KA-50 pilot can store those coordinates as a nav target, enabling them to uh, plot that on the Avaris as well as slew directly to that target. So we're here in Syria today and we are currently looking at a target on the Vivian camera system. And uh, the heading for that is 329 for uh, 4,452 meters, having lased it. Uh, we're just gonna round that to uh, 4.5 kilometers. We'll call it 4.5 4, 4 kilometers. So uh, 329 for 4.5. So in order to do this, we need to hop back into our pilot seat. And looking down at the Nadir system, we are going to get our current position by changing the parameter selector to the PP position. This is our current position. In order to copy this to a waypoint, we need to hit the freeze button, that's G-E-L, and then switch back to the B-U-T mode on the parameter selector. We're currently on waypoint one. I'm just gonna select waypoint three for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. And then we will hit ENT, and that is uh, our current position pasted. So again, that's uh, PP, freeze, BUT, select a waypoint, hit enter, and that's our current position. So in order to do this, we need two things, and that is our current, po well, three things. Our current position, heading to target, and distance to target. And we have all of those things via the Vivian camera system. So again, that's 329 degrees as indicated here on the bottom number. And as indicated by lasing, it's 4.5 kilometers. So we'll hop over here, hit the polar button, P-O-L, zero button. And then our waypoint, which we stored our current position under, which is 3. Then we need to hit enter again so that we can actually edit this uh, top number, which is going to be our heading, and we had 329. Hit the down arrow, and this is going to be our distance to target in meters. We round it up to uh, 4.5 kilometers. So 4,500 meters, hit enter, and this is our new waypoint. We can confirm that it is correct because we've got the uh, heading indicator here pointing towards our target, and we're reading 4.5 kilometers to that target. Now we can also confirm that that is the case by flying over there, and when we're over that target, it should read zero on this Nadir compass. So we'll do that now. All right, guys, we're coming up on our target now, and we're curr currently reading uh, 0.5, 0.4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then, uh, you could see that that was pretty much right over the target as it hit 0, so it's fairly accurate. Um, you can, of course, use this as we're going to cover later for uh, nav targets and the KA-50, you can communicate those uh, coordinates uh, to fixed wing assets in the area if they're capable of taking DDM lat long. Uh, you can also change the Nadir to UTM mode if you need to communicate coordinates in UTM mode. So you have a couple of options there. All right, uh, we're gonna hop in the KA-50 now and go over using nav targets uh, via the PVI-800. Hey guys, we're here hovering over the airfield 
And uh, I've already gone ahead and entered the nav target under nav target one. If you would like a tutorial on how to utilize the PBI 800 itself to enter nav targets or waypoints, um, I can do a separate tutorial on that. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to stick to actually the practical application here. So uh, we've entered our nav target as we had received it verbally from the gazelle pilot. And uh, we noticed that the HUD itself changes a little bit. We've now got distance to target at the bottom of the HUD. We are heading banner. Uh, it will stick between 30 degrees as long as we're within that 30 degree range. The bottom carrot is actually pointing to the target and when we move out of that 30 degree range we get a 180 degree range and it's still indicating that it wants us to turn back right. So as we turn back right and we come back into that 30 degree range it shows that uh, we changed 30 here and we'll line up with that bottom carrot and we're now facing the target roughly so in addition to this uh, having a nav target selected also plots it on the abris so that is our nav target and in fact our target uh, what you can do with this is you can actually change the type of data link that you want that target to be so if i wanted to select a uh, vehicle type it changes that symbology on the abris as well and then we can send that to memory and it wouldn't matter if we had the nav target selected or not that would remain on the abris as shown uh, and then we can use the data link specifically alone without using the PBI 800 to select DL ingress and uh, it'll operate just like any other data link uh, target if you uncage the Skaval it'll slew directly to it and uh, the same can be said we'll uh, turn that off and the same can be said if you have the nav target selected so if we select our nav target we have uh, that square back on the abris that square is just designated as other type and uh, same HUD symbology as a DL ingress and the same thing happens if you uncage the Shukval it'll slew directly to that target uh, additionally the uh, the PBI 800 is capable of doing a similar thing to the gazelle where if you are looking at a target you can actually store that as a coordinate so we'll do that now we'll locate that target using the Shkaval and zoom in we'll turn our laser on and now that we have that selected We've laced the target, we've got it locked. If we select nav target 2, correction, change your uh, master mode knob to ENT for enter, nav target 2, and swi uh, switch your nav INU fix taking method to the up position. After you've switched that to the up position, you're in enter mode for the mode switch and you have a nav target selected. If you just hit uncage again, it will populate those coordinates into the PVI 800 and you can hit enter to save that. Switch back to operational mode, nav target 2, and you can see that it is pretty much the same. It's right on top of it. So that's another method that you can use to communicate coordinates uh, to other assets in the area if you're in the KA-50. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you would like to see future tutorials on either the KA-50 or the Gazelle I would be happy to oblige just let me know what you want to see or what you want to learn down in the comments section and I'll work on a video as soon as possible.
Thanks for watching.